ratio. Can you decarbonize my engine? Hi, this is Feld from uh, TDR Auto. And my buddy, uh, he just came uh, with his nice car from a different shop. And uh, they wanted to actually charge him 129 for uh, just the air intake clean. Uh, somebody calls it the uh, engine decarb, but it's actually just a air intake clean. I'll show you what uh, I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using a seafoam spray. I like to use the spray instead of just uh, the regular fluid. Because the spray will nicely atomize with the air. And it, uh, it, it cleans much better. So. so it comes with this nice uh, straw. I usually cut it over here, somewhere there, so that the solution will uh, basically will take this hose off and we'll put it right in front of the throttle body, right, right in front of the butterfly. Okay, so we'll take the tube off. This one is nice and easy, easy access. And you can actually see all that gunk on the throttle body. Just take a good look over there. There we go. Alright, I'm gonna position the straw so that it points in front of the butterfly. Put the tube back, because this car has a muscle flow sensor so it would not run very nice without the intake tube mounted right. I'll just tie it up to hold the straw in place alright, good This is why this is why the intakes will, will get so dirty inside because the engine breather goes in front of the but butterfly in front of the throttle body so the oil vapors and uh, the dirty air from the engine together mixing with the oil you know it makes the throttle body dirty and everything in there plus you have the EGR valve which recirculates your uh, exhaust gases back into the intake so that when it mixed up together with the oil fumes it just producing nasty gunk and carbon build up in the cylinders piston rings in uh, valves um, and it just causing a lot of problems especially on newer cars where you have uh, inside the intake you have a another set of butterflies that opens up for a shorter intake runners or longer uh, to uh, just make the engine more efficient and, uh, and emissions friendly and, uh, when, uh, when those butterflies they gunk up with, uh, with this suit and with this carbon build up then you get a very expensive repairs so I would recommend doing this uh, decarb every 30,000 miles or so that will uh, keep it somewhat clean and uh, problem free. One note, uh, the engine should be fully warmed up. And here we go. Now we got to raise the RPM a little bit. Basically, the top of the 
system and it will clean your uh, bottom of the valves. So the water is not the best, uh, best way of decarbonizing your engine. See now it's starting to smoke. A check engine light on uh, that's completely normal because the O2 sensors will notice that the mixture is much uh, more richer so it will throw a code once in a while some cars depending how fast your computer is so you might need to clear the codes after that if you have any so we'll take this out We'll see how, how good it cleaned the throttle body. Well, it looks somewhat cleaner, but I would still use a rag and uh, clean up the, around the throttle body some more. Uh, you can use a throttle body cleaner that's specifically for throttle body only. You basically spray around like this so that you clean up all that dirty gunk. See that that cleans really nice. That works really good. That will make your throttle body look like brand new. But you want to be careful on the new electronic throttle bodies because they have two position sensors, they have a motor inside and these chemicals sometimes they can get and they can actually damage your throttle body so you want to be very careful this uh, this stuff uh, came with a little cotton ball that you're supposed to just spray on the cotton ball and then you wipe it with it so that no excess fluid comes on and destroys your throttle body just a safety tip Then we can, uh, I would also recommend every, every service uh, uh, for uh, the travel body clean or intake manifold clean, do a fuel, si fuel system cleaner too. Something a little better, like this BG, it's, uh, I like BG, they use them a lot. And um, so you put that in the gas tank and that will clean your injectors. That will clean your injectors and also uh, a little bit in the combustion chamber so. okay now that we cleaned up the throttle body some more I use a regular uh, some wipe and wipe it down a little bit see that and that's that's already clean we'll open it up and we'll go in there as you can see there's still some dirt in there so it's a good idea to have the throttle body cleaner as well that will make it look like brand new. Okay. Um, if you have electronic throttle body, you should. Uh, it's a good idea to disconnect the battery because even if the car is shut off, sometimes the electronic throttle body, if you, you can still open it up like this your fingers or put a screwdriver in there and sometimes even when the car is off the electronic throttle body can start moving and can pinch your fingers so you better be very careful all right that looks that looks pretty clean to me well that's a big difference Put the breather hose back in there. Just make sure you put everything the way it was. Uh, now I want to mention: never use uh, this kind of spray in front of your mass airflow sensor. Always go behind it. Okay? 
right in front of the throttle body. You can damage the master flow sensor and these master flow sensors they can be quite expensive. So keep that in mind. If you want to clean up your master flow sensor, like if you had a very dirty air filter or if you had some performance filter and you just bought a car and you had some dirt going into your engine, then you want to clean up your master flow sensor. You, buy, you have to buy special cleaning spray for master flow sensor so you don't damage the element inside, the hot wire. Uh, another quick tip is a lot of mechanics, even in the dealerships, they use one of the <coughs> intake uh, little vacuum port on the intake manifold, like see, like this one for the brake booster. They pull that out and they spray the solution through here. I don't think that's the best way. Uh, it's the easiest way, but it's not the best way as the solution uh, will have a hard time going all the way to the first cylinders. It will most likely stay in the back as the air moves from front to the back. So it makes sense that the best way is to spray in front. So the solution will be nicely distributed that's how the intake is designed from front and it takes it all across here not from one corner it's not gonna get to the other corner you know, it just makes sense um, I work in the dealership and uh, we had a BG machine it's the same design as I just used for the straw they have a nice uh, stainless steel tubing you put it in here, you put a compressed air into it, um, put a solution to the can, and the compressed air will force it inside. So this way is a much cheaper way because that machine is a uh, couple hundred bucks. This spray it does the same thing, you just basically hold it with your finger, you don't use compressed air. That's the only difference. So we'll uh, start it up, make sure it runs good. to clean anything. See the smoke? It's smoking. Now we should uh, rev up the engine a little bit to get the clean up the exhaust. 